Did you say you are completely bound and there's no room for you to wiggle free? Unfortunately, that's the point of this position. What position would that be? Hog tie frog leg, uh, spread eagle strapedo. You know, instead of wasting five minutes Googling the top 10 best bondage positions, you could have just asked him where his arms were. I need you to take your shoulder and slam it up against one of the rods and dislocate it. You should be able to bring your arm up over your head to untie yourself. Okay, I don't think you understand how first time shoulder dislocations work. It's not like this guy's gonna get an extra amount of range of motion when every single muscle and tendon in his body is trying to pull that sucker back in the socket, trying to fix the worst dispatching advice in history. The only thing that this guy is gonna get is extra vomit on his shirt from the extra amount of pain that he's about to experience. Okay, I got the EpiPen. Okay, good, jam it into her thigh now. Maybe if you spend a little more time Googling how to teach someone to use an EpiPen properly instead of bondage positions 101, he wouldn't have just injected that EpiPen backwards. <laughs> oh, she's alive, she's breathing. <gasps> no way, they have instant EpiPens here? Oh man, ours take like five minutes to work. Thank you, your grace. That was amazing. I didn't feel a thing. Wait, that's it? You have a guy with a self-inflicted shoulder dislocation and a woman that was just brought back from the dead from a magic reverse-ended instant EpiPen and you're just gonna hang up and go to lunch? Okay. I will take it from here. Mateo, go get him checked out. Paul Marjan stabilizing equipment. Each one of these weighs two tons. The only thing holding them up is gravity. Wait, gravity holds things up? <laughs> Somebody dig up Sir Isaac Newton and tell that sucker he was wrong. <laughs> I'm from Austin Fire. We're gonna get you out of here. I can't breathe. Okay, TK. Whoa, whoa. Hey, TK, these beams are shifting. Guys, the beams are falling. We need more gravity now. For death, Jane, Let's focus on the life part, Kirby. Hey, get to it. Got it. Did you just pull that door off with a halligan? Oh my god. Guys, we can throw away all the extrication equipment. All I need is halligans. I need you to be very still. We're going to move this off you the minute it's safe. Guys, how are we doing? Marjan, bring in the airbag. Copy that. Airbag's coming in. Guys, not telling you to do your job, but it uh, looks like she can slip out right there. Maybe put the seat back a little bit. I mean, at this point, it looks like her seatbelt is holding her in more than that giant steel beam. Hey, we gotta move, we gotta move. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Okay, good, we're good. Huh, that's the first time I've ever seen an airbag lift something up and back at the same time. <laughs> you guys need to start holding trainings. Try to catch me hollering at the moon. It ain't got home much longer, Cap! Don't worry, Cap, he's holding back the 60,000 pounds of steel beams with that sweet rope right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh.